The U.S. President Joe Biden recently signed an executive order which was claimed to allow fresh sanctions on the sites that are fueling the conflict in Ethiopia. According to a White House statement released on last Friday, Biden said that the order he signed establishes a new sanctions regime that would allow the U.S. government to target the ones who were either responsible or complicit in prolonging the conflict in the foreign nation. He also noted that the situation in Ethiopia has provided the U.S. Treasury Department with necessary authority to hold the government officials accountable. According to writers in the field, such claims of President Biden's are, however, nothing but part of his administration's humiliating foreign policy record. According to an American writer, Denton Collins, America has lost historic lives in Ethiopia and France just in a couple of days due to misguided foreign policy measures. Collins argued that the executive order hath no doubt but emboldened the TPLF and prolonged the war in Ethiopia other than elevating the current crisis. Collins claims TPLF is a cunning modern equivalent of South African National Party of Apartheid and the Nazi Party of Germany. But the Biden administration, according to Collins, is now working to keep this terrorist group in life providing a number of aids, including food aids. Collins said that the so-called food aid to Tigray by the U.S. and other Western countries went out of purpose and USAID mission also admitted that TPLF was indeed attacking and stealing food from aid storage depots. I do believe that uh, TPLF has been very opportunistic. Uh, they, maybe they're stealing from citizens. We don't have proof of this, of course. What we do have proof of is that um, several of our warehouses have been um, looted uh, and completely emptied uh, in the areas, particularly Amhara, uh, where the TPLF uh, soldiers have, have gone into. Yes, we, we know that that's a fact. In Amhara now we, now, we now know that the TPLF has every town that they've gone into, they've looted the warehouses, they've uh, looted trucks, um, they have caused uh, a great deal of destruction in all the villages they've visited, um, and it's a great concern for humanitarians. This, according to Collins, has been a deliberate action of the U.S. to provide food aid to the TPLF group, which will serve as a fuel to keep the fighting. Collins argued the U.S. has long-standing knowledge of misuse of food aid by the TPLF when ruling Ethiopia, let alone while on the run. Referring to the 1980s, Collins stated that the TPLF survived by exaggerating the population under the threat of famine through the sale of food aid and other techniques involving their diaspora Tigrinya-speaking community in Sudan from where arms were smuggled through. They also use food as a weapon of rewarding supporters and penalizing those who refuse to cooperate. Collins underlined in his articles and said the group is doing exactly the same these days too. Collins argues if the West is genuine about feeding Ethiopians in need and in particular Tigray region, the first step is to acknowledge TPLF's history of misallocating and monetizing food aid. Collins concludes that if such actions will not put in place by the U.S. and other Western countries, Ethiopia is in its right to eliminate any threat within or outside its borders.